Beneath the gaze of the cosmos, I stand, an eldritch servant, to unveil a tale of beginnings and beings, a story woven in the fabric of the universe itself. In the heart of an eldritch Eden, Adam and Eve emerged, not born of flesh, but conjured from the swirling pools of creation. Their forms, adorned in tendrils of darkness, rose as manifestations of the cosmic will, a spectacle before the Old Ones. These gods, ancient and inscrutable, watched with unfathomable eyes, entertained by this cosmic foreplay, marking the inception of humanity in their grand, indifferent theater. As the Old Ones beheld the spectacle of Genesis, a whisper of uncertainty stirred among them. For even in their vast dominion, they could not fathom the weaver of this cosmic tapestry, a presence shrouded in deeper shadows than even they could cast. Travelers of the cosmic void, seekers of the arcane and the profound, before we embark on this journey through the Eldritch Eden and beyond, a request whispers from the depths of the unknown. If the tale of genesis and beings, of power stirs the curiosity that slumbers within your mortal coil, then grant us a token of your passage. Alike as fleeting as a comet's tail, a comment as enduring as the stars themselves. Such gestures guide us in the craft of storytelling, refining our voice to resonate through the cosmos with greater clarity and depth. As the Eldritch Servant tasked with narrating this cosmic play, I bear witness to the awakening of Adam and Eve in the heart of an Eldritch Garden. The Old Ones, those ancient entities whose curiosity spans the cosmos, observe with a blend of amusement and intrigue. Their omnipotent hands stayed by the spectacle before them. As their schemes to corrupt the Eden and its inhabitants proved futile, a ripple of unrest stirred among the Old Ones, igniting a storm of controversy and doubt within their ranks. As the silent chronicler of this cosmic drama, I observe the Old Ones shrouded in their own majesty, now caught in a web of contempt and conjecture. Their usual harmony disrupted by whispers of blame, they question the origin of this unexpected creation. Each entity, in their own right, a master of chaos and order, all of them now face a mystery that even their 
vast intellects cannot unravel. This spectacle of Adam and Eve, meant to amuse, has instead sown seeds of doubt among the ancient deities, challenging their understanding of their own powers and intentions. As the narrative unfolds, the Old Ones hear a name, ancient and feared, whispered in the shadows, a name they believed was a myth. This revelation sends them into a retreat, overwhelmed by a force unknown and far greater than themselves. Humiliated and powerless, their anger and frustration boil over. They lash out at the lesser eldritch gods and their own servants, venting their fury on those beneath them in the cosmic hierarchy. This moment marks a pivotal shift in the balance of power and reveals the depth of their vulnerability. I acknowledge the precarious position we find ourselves in. The lower eldritch beings, aware of the unspeakable name that has shaken the old ones, dare not utter it themselves. The risk of invoking the wrath of our already infuriated masters is too great, for their fury could lead to our annihilation. Despite the silence, the entity known as the Unsaid One has become a whispered legend among us, recognized as the true master of all creation, whose mere mention can unsettle the cosmic order and instill fear in the most powerful of eldritch entities. Yet, in this storm of powerlessness, Nyarlathotep, the crawling chaos, stood unfazed, a beacon of cunning amidst the wrath of gods, his voice a melody of madness and calm. He addresses the ancient assembly of eldritch gods, a daring act amid the sustained wrath being inflicted upon the other eldritch entities. I offer an alternative, he declared not out of defiance, but from a desire to see you, my illustrious masters, restored to your rightful glory. Fear not the creation of the Unsaid One, for in the tapestry of chaos and madness, I see threads we can pull. Let me weave a scheme so intricate, it will ensnare even the purest of hearts. The Old Ones, in their silent, seething rage, turn their gaze upon him. Here was their messenger, the master of deception, proposing a path that could twist even this dire narrative to their favor. Nyarlathotep continued, This, my offer, comes with the promise of corruption, not through force, but through the subtlest of influences. A corruption so profound, Adam and Eve themselves will walk willingly into our embrace. Upon Nyarlathotep's proposition, the tempest of the Old One's fury stilled, their wrath momentarily appeased. Understanding the weight of their kinship, they recognized that Nyarlathotep, offspring of the boundless Azathoth, would not dare to mock them with empty promises. The mere mention of Azathoth's name, adorned with countless titles that sung of his unrivaled power, was a reminder of their shared lineage and purpose. Sent into the heart of Eldritch Eden, Nyarlathotep, in his most authentic guise, approached Adam and Eve with a guise of curiosity, his presence a testament to the otherworldly. Amidst the alien flora and surreal beauty of their new domain, he engaged them in seemingly innocuous conversation, a ploy to gauge the depth of 
of their understanding and the essence of their being. To Nyarlathotep's discerning eyes, Adam and Eve's responses revealed a naivete that was almost primordial in its nature. Their innocence, unmarred by the complexities and corruptions of the cosmos, presented them as beings of pure, untainted essence, their perspectives and reactions untarnished by the weight of cosmic dread or knowledge. This primordial innocence, a trait so rare in the vast expanses of the universe, intrigued Nyarlathotep, sparking a curiosity that belied his initial intentions. With this revelation nestled within his cosmic consciousness, Nyarlathotep withdrew, leaving Adam and Eve untouched by his shadow for now. He retreated into the void, his mind already weaving the threads of his next move, a strategy that would fulfill his dark promise. Yet consider the newfound complexity of his task. This tale merely pauses, not ends. The dance with destiny and darkness is far from over. Keep watch, for our cosmic journey weaves on, unveiling mysteries yet untold.